And we're getting ready to do a little walk. Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Johnny Juice from Public Enemy, X Vandals, and about a million other groups you probably never heard of, but that's okay. I've been a turntablist for over 30 years. I am a DJ, a producer, a musician, an engineer. The way I approach making records is a very unique way. I usually start on the turntables, and you know, writing music to me is, should, should be a reflection of your life. My, my way has always been against the grain. You know, very percussive, very hard, very staccato. Hey, this is Johnny Juice, and we are here with a Sonar 8.5 producer project that is open uh, to demo the Novation 61SL MK2 using Automap. We'll insert a plugin, a soft synth, and we will do Session Drummer 3. Now, Session Drummer 3 automatically has a setting for Automap. Because when you load AutoMap on your computer, it automatically scans all your plugins and it automatically uh, d develops a template for each one. So now we have Session Drummer. Session Drummer loaded up, you notice the whole uh, keyboard lit up. So uh, here we go, we're gonna do a little, uh, little drum beat. Make it simple, right? So we press um, right here and uh, put it in uh, record mode. Simple. Two, three, and. So there we go. Now, expertly recorded. Add some. Drum groove is uh, now um, properly recorded. I'm ready to roll. All right, so here we are, and I'm gonna start uh, assigning some uh, functions to the keyboard using the learn function. And uh, or you just click on learn. And what I want to do is I want to control the volume instead of controlling it with the knob. I want to control it with the fader because I'm more comfortable with the fader. So what you do is you just move, but you wanna assign it to and then you move the button and it's easy as easy as that so that's uh, that's one and I uh, click on learn again just click touch assign they call it that's right here so now I got my my kick and my snare volumes right here so it's controllable in a way I'm more comfortable with which is which is with faders because I'm used to that I think we'll start to beat again and as you can see works perfectly. We have a little drum beat happening as you can see. But now we want to add a little bass line because that's kind of boring. So let's go open up a plugin again, my soft sense, and look what we have here. We have Dimension Pro and look, we have an auto map version of it. Wonderful. Okay, so now we're gonna record our bass line part. Uh, we are ready to roll. And of course we start it off. Baseline's rolling there pretty well. Let's close that out. I took the liberty of adding some piano keys to that too. Since we have some stuff here. So 
so also let's go to the mixer mode. All right, so here we go. We have our track done, and um, we are uh, in the mixer mode. Uh, as you can see, it says mixer instrument. It goes back to. Uh, um, I can pick between the two cases of Dimension Pro and uh, my session drummer or mixer. Now, this is the mixer screen. These faders control, as you can see, right on the screen, all the faders for my sonar mixer. And um, let's rock the beat a little bit. I'll bring up the drums, bring up the little piano, bring up my bass. A little bit of strings, a little extra drums. Right underneath, we got mutes. So we got mutes there. We even got pans over here. So, I got, as you can see, it's panning right here. You can see the pan. It's also panning right here on the screen. You can see the pan. Same thing here. That's it. We are wrapped up here with the Novation SLMK2. So if you want to hear more, see more, feel more about this keyboard, go down to your local dealer, or go online to YouTube, check out the tutorial videos, you know, it's a hot keyboard, man, it helps you get around your software, so go down to your dealership, check it out, man, better yet, pick one up, pick one up, and uh, hit me up, and let me know what you feel about it, on YouTube, you can check me out, on Facebook, you can check me out on MySpace, DJ Johnny Juice, I'll catch you later, peace.